was a fluke. But our guys came in the series. Uh, All right. Now, any of those glue pieces that you just scraped off, get them out of there. You don't want them even around the area. Looks pretty good, so. Flux on, turn your soldering iron on. Now this is the same exact thing that I did with the chip. So I'm going to pause it, get it all cleaned up. Uh, then I'll show you how I put the chip back on and put it on the Jovi and we'll reattach it to the board. So I got it clean. I'm going to take my Kingbo Flux dab on my finger Okay, that layer looks pretty good, so I'm just going to leave it. I don't want to wipe any more off. I already cleaned my chip on the sides. Blow off so there's no little fuzzies. Make sure. Make sure there's some white around the edge on all four corners. Now I cut this little section out where the tape was so I could see underneath there when, when the heat's hitting it. Because you got to be able to see those solder balls melt or liquefy. Alright, it looks pretty good.
You can take some MEK, clean, clean off your thermal coupler. Okay, so we're all set. I'm gonna Turn my lower heater on fast reflow. I still got my upper heater set at four and a half. I'm gonna pause it when I hit 80 degrees. I'll turn my upper heater on fast reflow and then I'll start the camera. Okay, I just turned on the upper heater at 87 degrees Celsius. Once I see the balls underneath liquefy, I usually like to let it go another 10 degrees Celsius and then I swing the upper heater over. We're at 101. <laughs> One thirty seven. Okay, they're liquefied at 187, so I'll go to 195 and then I'll turn it. Alright. Turn everything off. And once I get under 187, then I'll turn the fan on. Alright, so that's it. I'm going to turn the tape off, clean the board up when it gets down to the temperature that I can pull it off. I usually around 50 degrees Celsius when I pull the board off. Hook it up to the laptop. Got to turn it on. I'll be... Alright everybody, moment of truth. I got it all put together. I got uh, the heat sink on. The fan hooked up. Um... Got this ribbon hooked in so we can push the power button. 
Uh, I got one stick of memory in because you need a stick of memory in or you're not going to get no video. Um, I got the power hooked up, so let's push the button. Fan spinning. Look at that. It's blinking up here. I don't have any hard drive in. So we got it, guys. I'm going to turn it off again. Turn it back on. I don't know why my camera just got blurry all of a sudden. Let's try it one more time with the camera not trying to be so blurry. Compact. Alright, we did it. It works. So, this is Matt that fixed my GPU. Um, I'm sure this customer is going to be extremely excited to get his laptop back, obviously. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a holler. Um, I hope you will actually send me your system so I can fix it for you. I'm just trying to show you different videos of different scenarios different beeps things like that so if you have the same symptom you can see that this fix will do it will fix it and i uh, hope you enjoyed the video matt and this is fixmygpu.com